Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Jayco JFlight SLX 264BH. This is one of the top selling bunk models for Jayco and for good reason. You don't have to worry about any slides here which helps lighten up the weight a little bit. And for a camper this size that's a pretty big deal. Plus you still get a sofa, you have a campsite dinette and you have double over double rear bunks. Let's actually start off here on the campsite. So as I mentioned, I really like when manufacturers do this, when they're able to give you a campsite dinette because this is where you're gonna have your breakfast, drink your morning cup of coffee. You wanna look out to your campsite, not out at your neighbors. Uh, this is a, a somewhat tight squeeze for four, but it's definitely manageable. Now, always bear in mind that with this setup, if you take a look right here, you'll see you do have a little step here. That's because of the wheel well. So just know that when you're sitting here, the inside person's probably gonna have to put their leg up there. So just test it out, right? Make sure that you can uh, put your leg up there and still be comfortable. I can do it, but I, not, I know not everyone can. Uh, but you know, again, with, with this style layout, just definitely keep that in mind. Underneath, you will see storage, so you're not wasting any space. You can take a look right there. Also, I like the material that they use. It's nice, easy cleanup. It's kind of like a, a vinyl material. Right up top, you will see some additional storage there. And over to the side here, this is where you'll mount your TV. Hookups forward over to the side. Multimedia center right there and HDMI port, folks. That's right. The industry is finally starting to upgrade. So uh, you can just plug that right into the back of the TV. This unit is a DVD player. It's also Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers in here and outside. Uh, thermostat, I guess I'll talk about that real quick. That does control your ducted AC as well as the ducted furnace. And right over here behind that are your double over double rear bunks. Great thing about Jayco. With their bunks, they have some of the highest weight capacities in the industry, 600 pounds on their bunks. That's a really big deal. So if you want to be able to sleep two adults in here, you can do it, no problem. I'll hop in here just to kind of show you ah, as far as space. So again, it's six foot tall. As you can see, my feet don't touch. So and even if you're 6'1", you can probably still sleep in here, which is awesome. So it's not just necessarily for kids. You have you know, friends, family that want to come camp with you you have a place for them to crash. Up top, you will see this one has dual USB ports, so if you need to plug in any phones or anything, you can. And right down underneath, you have an, a standard electrical outlet. So again, you can plug in electronics, or if a guest has to sleep with a CPAP machine, you can accommodate them there as well. Of course, you have a couple curtains here to close off. We'll take a look inside the bathroom. Come on in with me here. We'll take a seat here. So uh, as far as the toilet space, I have great leg room, a little bit tight on the left side, really no, not, not too bad. Uh, plastic, plastic bowl, you know, I, I wish it would have been porcelain, but I understand again, you know, this is a, they're trying to save weight. So that's why they went with the plastic here. Straight ahead is the toilet paper holder. It's already mounted, don't have to worry about that. Tub shower over to the side. I do like having a tub when you have a bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you can still give them the bath. Also because of the higher wall, your curtain tends to stay in the bath better as well. You can see this one is winterized. You have all the antifreeze in there. I'll step in here without trying to make too much of a mess, just to give you an idea of shower height. So again, six foot tall. Folks with that skylight, I have an extra two, three inches there, which is great. Even without the skylight, I can still stand up without having to bend down in the shower. Um, I certainly appreciate that being a, a six foot tall guy. Then right outside is where your sink is. Uh, so you will see the sink, of course, electrical outlet, mirror, hand towel ring. Some additional storage there underneath. Not only do you have the plumbing access, but you do have enough space for a trash can under there, which is pretty handy. Um, you know, it, it's more beneficial, I suppose, when the sink is in the bathroom because here you can just, you know, use the uh, the trash elsewhere. But uh, it's it again. I do like the fact that it's big down there. Right over here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Stainless steel panels on the front. Also, you have your thermostat right up front. This unit does run off both propane and electric. Also has automatic switch over. Very easy to adjust that. Microwave, hood, recess, three burner, cooktop. The front one is high output. You can flip this cover up and back. Uh, I do like the fact that with recess, because with that glass cover, you do have some prep space in here. Otherwise, you'd really be without. But uh, the, as I mentioned, front one's high output. It's a Furians. The knobs light up. That light, that little uh, knob right there also controls the light in the oven. And then moving down a little ways, you'll see the countertop itself is a thermofoil or seamless countertop. It's kind of like a pseudo solid surface. It has a solid surface look to it and also allows you to undermount the bowl, which they have done here. Double equal uh, bowl there. You'll see the high rise faucet underneath. 
So again, this is probably where your kitchen trash will go. You have two drawers, making it a fully usable kitchen. Uh, 75 pound weight capacity on the drawers, they say. Again, I don't know that I would test it, but they, they have. So uh, they say, you know, can hold up to 75 pounds. Couple windows for natural light, electrical outlet. Tank monitoring panel is located here. It's always good to know where that's at in the camper. Sometimes they put it in the bathroom, sometimes in the kitchen. Uh, it's just kind of always a guess where to find it. But it is worth noting that the water heater does run off both propane and electric. You can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. Storage right up top. And then over to this side is the jackknife sofa. Great thing about a jackknife is the storage you get underneath. You can see that you know half of this here is taken up by your furnace vents there, but the other half is still good usable storage, removable armrests. This drops down into a bed. I personally like what they did with the stitching here. You know, I know a lot of manufacturers just go with the smooth transition, but I think that kind of gives it, I don't know, a little more upscale look almost. I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, this is a good spot to sit and relax. And, you know, it gives you an additional spot you can sit, not just in the dinette, but another spot to sit to watch the TVs. Again, that is where your TV hookup is. So, you know, it, it is a very uh, well laid out floor plan. And this floor plan has been around for a long time. This is not anything new. Uh, you know, again, just a couple things that Jayco does that uh, helps uh, kind of improve it. So you'll see that this is where a lot of manufacturers differ is right here. Some of them have a half wall going all the way across. Some of them have a full wall going all the way across. What Jayco did is they kind of went in between. They did a half wall halfway down and then they give you the curtain. So if you want the open look, you can open that up. If you want a little more privacy, you can close it off. Obviously you can close the bedroom all the way off at night. Right up front though is your queen bed. Underneath that, we have storage. Strut assisted, very easy to use. That does have shared storage to your pass-through storage as well, which I'll show you when we go outside. Both sides have nightstands as well as electrical outlets, again, to plug in any, um, you know, if you have like uh, cell phones, tablets, CPAP machines, gives you a great spot to plug them in. Right up top, you have a couple different types of storage. On the one side, you'll see you have shelves for some folded clothes, also a shelf going across the top. See the accent lighting there, and then you have the wardrobe here too. If you want to turn that accent lighting off, there's a little switch right over here. You can shut that off, uh, but it is you know kind of a nice light to have at night. Like if you go out to the neighbor's campfire or something, you can just leave that guy on. And then lastly, if you want TV in the bedroom, you have a mount there for it, and the connections are right up on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Jayco J Flight 264 BH. Up front, you have two 20 pound propane tanks. Switch over, of course, is right in the back here. Also, you will see rails there for your battery. Uh, something about Jayco construction that I really like is the A frame. As you can see, this A frame is actually integrated into the rest of the frame. A lot of manufacturers will actually weld the A frame underneath. By having it integrated, you get more durability, you get more strength, you have less chance for any buckling. Right above that, you will see the diamond plating helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Uh, actually, right up on the roof, I do want to talk about that construction real quick as well. Jayco utilizes what they call the Magnum Truss Roof System. They do a couple things up there. They screw everything down instead of using staples. They also have larger nail plates and their risers are actually two inch thick wood risers rather than just having aluminum strapping. So a lot more strength. If you've ever seen some Jayco videos on it, you know they have very strong roofs. On top of that, they have a Diflex 2 membrane material, which is kind of like an upgraded TPO. Normally TPO isn't very flexible and it normally has a fleece backing that if it gets cut, it just wicks in water and soaks it up, which is a bad thing. But this one is a non-fleece back TPO roof. And so you don't have that wicking and also it has a lot of the properties that EPDM has thanks to the plasticizers they put in it, which means it's nice and flexible and you don't have near the chalking, you don't have near the cleanup or anything on there. So definitely an improved roof system here on the J flight. If we take a look at the uh, pass through storage, you'll see that it is a good size pass through. And as I mentioned, you also have the uh, storage there uh, underneath the bed. So a couple different access points. Underneath, another quick thing I want to hit on when we talk about the frame, they do use full outriggers and they place these every four to six feet rather than eight feet like a lot of manufacturers. So again, nice strong foundation here on the Jayco. 
the uh, power awning, just touch a button to roll that guy out. Same thing to go right back in. It is a Solera awning, which means the speakers are built into the heads. That way when it's fully rolled out, the music is playing down on your campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. Plus, there's an LED light strip on there for light at night. You have the More Ride Step Above Step system, which is a very solid step. You know, you can see here I'm over 200 pounds. I can run up and down on this thing. You don't have the flex that you get a lot of times with your traditional pullout. Also, it's aluminum treads, which don't rust and you have the grip tape. So if it's a little wet, you know, it's just starting to sprinkle right now, it'll ensure that you have a little bit better traction. And that in conjunction with this grab handle gives you pretty good control when you're heading into the camper. If you take a look down at the axles, this one has the Dexter Easy Lube axles on there, which is easier for maintenance rather than having to constantly repack the bearings. And it also has never adjust brakes. Well, that's one of the things that a lot of people miss when the maintenance of their RV is adjusting their brakes and with the J-Flight here, you don't have to worry about it because it does it all for you. If you want a TV outside, this is the mount. Again, it's right underneath that awning where you want it. Connections for that are here, electrical outlet, cable satellite outlet there as well. And then the very back, not only do you have that big pass-through, but take a look at this. Underneath that rear bunk, you have a ton of storage here, folks. That's big storage. You have to appreciate that. Any added storage on the exterior of an RV is always a great thing. Square tubular bumper gives you a spot in which you can store your sewer hose, just slide it right in there. Mounted to that is your spare tire with the cover. This makes it easy to get to and the cover helps protect it and keep it in good shape. You'll also see the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto that super sturdy, fully walkable roof there. And you have backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Around the off door side, this will be your cable inlet. Right down underneath is your termination with both your black and gray tank valves there. Outside shower with hot and cold water access here. 30 amp power cord just pulls right out, plug it in for shore power. City water inlet is a little bit further up. And if you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to make sure to fill the fresh tank and you will do that here. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Jayco J Flight SLX 264BH. If you're interested in this wonderful bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.